Hey guys, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and I gotta go on a call. Um, it's an office call. Looks like it's a computer with a rootkit on it. Um, so we're heading over there right now. Hey guys, I'm at the office right now and <clears throat> as you can see, um, we have, we're dealing with Symantec and endpoint protection right now and I'm constantly getting email alerts, because this is one of the offices I support, that Norton has uh, found something um, constantly. So basically that's indicative of like a rootkit running in the background, constantly spawning little pieces of malware. Then that malware gets caught up uh, by Symantec, but Symantec is unable to see the rootkit right now. That's what I think is going on at this point. So we're going to go ahead and uh, boot up with our Kaspersky rescue disk and see if there's any kind of uh, root kit or boot kit, whatever you want to call it, um, uh, like on the hard drive somewhere. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And as you can see, the Kaspersky rescue disk is loading. So, so far so good. Sometimes it will not load on uh, some of these PCs. Um, and this is basically saying the hard drive was not shut down cleanly. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this like one-handed. So it's going to be like a little shaky for a second. Let's go ahead and... There we go. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and mount that hard drive, and then we're going to go ahead and update the uh, rescue disk and uh, start scanning. I'll show you that part in a sec. You can see um, the databases are outdated, it just said that. Um, so we need to go to my uh, my update center and start an update. Now I just updated this last night because I had a bunch of um, computers that were infected last night that I was working on, but you know it's outdated by just a few hours so we want to update it definitely. Okay, well we've updated it. Let's go ahead and uh, do an object scan. Get my mouse in. We're just going to scan for uh, disk, boot sectors, and hidden startup uh, hidden startup objects. And we'll go ahead and do a scan and see if anything comes up. Well, that sucks. It's not what I wanted to see. Um, it didn't find anything on you know the disk boot sectors or the hidden startup objects uh, scan. So I'm going to go ahead and download Norton Power Eraser, and we're going to try that really quick. Okay, we have a Norton Power Eraser scanning our computer right now and uh, we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, so Power Eraser found a couple of items. Um, the ones I unchecked I, I know are safe, but this one right here, that might be, I haven't looked it up yet, but that might be the source of my issue. Um, and then I have some kind of bad run value. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and we'll take it from there. We'll see what happens.